السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ دز عمر شریف ہیئر آئی ایل بی ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ سم تھنگ ویری امپارٹنٹ اینڈ ریلیونٹ ٹو آر ٹائمس اٹ از اباؤٹ دی امپارٹنس آف ورکنگ دا فیلڈ آف میڈیا ہاؤ امپارٹنٹ از اٹ فار ایوری بڈی ہو از ریسپانسبل سٹیزن ٹو دس کنٹری ٹو انگیج ان دا فیلڈ آف میڈیا آئی ولائی ٹو تھرو Uh, light into this subject based on one ayah of the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, A'udhu billahi minash shaitani rajeem, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, in jaakum fasikum bi naba'in fatabayyanu. O you who believe, when a fasik, a disobedient person comes to you with any message, you verify that. Today what's happening is that a lot of message contents are being shared through social media, through the Facebook, through the WhatsApp and whatnot. And people tend to just pass on from one place to another without verifying. And what happens in the, in the meanwhile is chaos. A lot of people without verifying any message, they just keep on passing on the messages. And what happens? A lot of commotion in the society. Why is this happening? Because people are not verifying the news. What I want to say, ethical people who are engaging in journalism, they have to ensure that the message is authentic. They have to ensure that the message, if it is given to the public, it brings some positive outcomes. So the outcomes have to be estimated before passing on any message. If at all anything can be passed on, then we can pass on every information about the secret, uh, you know, the, uh, the cantonment area of our country or the, the military system. Can you pass on to everybody just like that? No, you cannot. If you pass it on in that way, just because I have the information, what would be the outcome of it? It could prove detrimental to you. So therefore, we must understand that whenever we are going to pass on any information, we must verify it and we must pass on that information which would bring in positive outcomes. It should not be just that I know a truth and I have to pass it on to people. So we, have, we are actually having a great responsibility in today's times. And uh, if we don't wake up, And if we don't engage in discussing about this very crucial issue amongst the youths, then the youths would turn out to be, you know, uh, inadvertently. They may, they may cause more harm than benefit. So with this, I end my small note saying that, you know, every individual has got a role to play and let us play our bit. Thank you.